Hey designers, in this video, we're going to create this transition effect in After Effects. Start by creating a new composition. Now, import the pictures you've downloaded. Make sure they're transparent PNGs. Drag and drop them onto the composition. Next, let's adjust the positions of the models. Begin by using the first model as a reference and hide all the other layers. Then, one by one, adjust the position of each PNG. Start with the second one, moving it slightly to the left. Once done, hide it and reveal the third PNG. Adjust its position using the keyboard arrow keys. Now hide that one and reveal the fourth PNG. Again, adjust its position as needed. Let's continue by moving the next PNG to the left as well. Now, adjust the last layer position. After adjusting all positions, let's determine how long each model will stay in the frame. Move the time indicator to the almost 2 second frame and select all layers. Press Alt and the right square bracket to trim all layers to this point. Now, all layers are trimmed. Let's offset these layers. Select layers 2 to 5 and adjust their positions accordingly, like this. Next, adjust the positions of the last three layers in a similar manner. Offset them accordingly. Now, for the last two layers, select and offset their positions to something like this. Finally, select the last layer and offset it to this position. Once the adjustments are done, let's focus on the first PNG. Since it's already on the screen from the start, no effect needs to be applied initially. The effect will only occur when it's appearing on the screen for the first few frames. Select the second PNG, navigate to Effects and Presets, and search for Card Wipe 3D Pixel Storm. We could apply this effect directly to the layer, but let's see what happens when we do so. Double click to apply the effect. While playing the composition, we notice that the effect is being applied to the entire bounding box of the transparent PNG, resulting in the undesired pixel storm effect. We want the effect to be applied only to the selection of the model. Let's remove the effect for now by selecting it and pressing backspace or delete on the keyboard. Next, select the second PNG layer, go to, Layer, and choose Auto Trace. Ensure that Apply to New Layer is checked, then press OK. Now, a new layer has been created. Place it above the second PNG layer. You'll notice how the selection of the model from the second PNG layer is perfectly outlined on this new Auto Traced layer. Go to Track Matte Options. You can find it by clicking on the smaller icon on the bottom left side of After Effects. Select the second layer. Change the mat of second layers from none to auto traced two layer do we just created. Ensure the second PNG layer is selected. Then go to Effects and Presets and double click to apply the effect. Or simply drag and drop it onto the layer. This effect speed is a bit slower. Now, let's address the speed issue. Press U on your keyboard while the layer is selected to reveal the keyframes. Move the last keyframe closer to the first one to make the effect quicker. Adjust the keyframes according to the desired speed. Adjust the keyframes according to how you want the effect to be, whether slower or faster. After adjusting the speed of the effect, let's ensure that the layer stays on the frame for a few more frames. To do this, increase the size of both the auto-traced layer and the second PNG layer. Ensure that you also increase the size of the layers for the third, fourth, and fifth PNGs as they will have the same effect applied. Select each layer, adjust their positions, and then increase their sizes accordingly.
All right. Let's proceed by applying the same effect to the third PNG. First, select the third PNG layer, then go to Layer, Auto Trace, and click OK. Move the Auto Trace 3 PNG layer above the 3 PNG layer. Select the 3 PNG layer and change its track mat from None to Auto Traced 3 PNG. Now, go to Effects and Presets and double click to apply the Cart Wipe effect. After applying the effect, press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes. Move the keyframe on the right side closer to the one on the left to make the effect a bit faster. Now, let's close these options and repeat the process for the fourth PNG. Select the fourth PNG layer, go to Layer, Auto Trace, and click OK. Change the mat from No Mat to Auto Traced Layer. Now, Go to Effects and Presets and double click to apply the card wipe effect. After applying the effect, press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes. Move the keyframe on the right side closer to the one on the left to make the effect a bit faster. Alright, let's proceed by applying the effect to the fifth layer. First, select the fifth layer, then go to Layer, Auto Trace, and click OK. Move the auto traced 5 layer above the 5th layer. Change the mat from no mat to auto traced 5th layer. Now, go to effects and presets and double click to apply the card wipe effect. Ensure the 5th layer is selected. Press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes. Move the last keyframe closer to the first one to adjust the speed of the effect. All right, let's add some text. First, select the type tool and click to write the text. Paste the text here and adjust its position as needed. Next, highlight the text and choose the font of your choice. I'm going to select this semi-light font. Now, let's paste the other text below it. Select the new text and make its size smaller. Adjust its position accordingly. For the suiting up text, let's make its size bigger and increase the spacing between the characters. Okay, for the last step, let's add the background. Go back to the project and import the background image. Drag and drop it onto the timeline below all these layers. Since it's a large image, let's scale it down first. Press S for scale and adjust the scale accordingly. Now, adjust the position of the background to match with the model. Continue adjusting the position until you're satisfied with the composition. I think this looks good now. And there you have it. Your animation is done. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Ace Designs.